Greetings, everybody. How are you all doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today, I harvested the first red ghost pepper from the garden. Yes, I have the first ripe red ghost pepper and I am so, so excited. But something else is going on with the ghost peppers. I am experiencing a blossom drop. So I will share with you the first harvest and why I think I have blossom drops. So this year, as you already know, I am growing a lot of hot peppers, super hot peppers, mega hot peppers. And the ghost pepper is a mega, mega hot pepper. Let me give you uh, something to have some perspective. Many of us are familiar with the habanero peppers. Habaneros are pretty hot. It's uh, Habanero has like 100,000 SHU, which that stands for Scoville Heat Unit. So the habanero is around 100,000 on that scale. And the ghost pepper stands at 900,000. I'm talking about the minimum, right? So the ghost pepper is like nine times hotter than the habanero peppers. In fact, it used to be the hottest pepper in the world a couple of years back. The Carolina Reapers, which I also have in the garden, uh, um, the Carolina Reaper currently is in the Guinness Book of Record as the hottest pepper in the world. Hello, everybody. How are you all doing? Yaji here. Greetings and welcome back to the channel. So I created a secret garden over here almost overnight. These are all my ghost peppers. I moved them from the area back there in the main garden because I began to notice signs of blossom drop. Blossom drop is when the flower, the uh, plant blooms, produces flowers, and then the flowers, instead of going ahead to produce fruit, as in the pepper plants, the flowers begin to drop. Yeah, here's another one. Look at that. It just dries up and then drops instead of producing instead of producing fruit. The reason why I'm experiencing blossom drop is because the heat was way too much. Way too much. Ghost peppers don't like too much heat. The temperatures got to, you know, consistently above 90, 95 or so. And the flowers, it had produced a lot, a lot of flowers, and I was expecting to have a lot of peppers, but then they just began to, to dry up and, and drop. Look at that. So I moved the peppers over here, and my hope is that I might be able to rescue some of the flowers. So yeah, if you're growing peppers, beware of the temperatures, you know. The thing is, I did not start these peppers on time. I was supposed to start them, not start them from seeds, but I usually get the seedlings, the transplants. I should have transplanted maybe around the first week of March or so. I waited until the end of March. And then another thing that I did was I, uh, <clears throat> I topped some of the peppers. So the ones that I topped did not start to produce the flowers like on time, in time for... Uh, before the summer, the Houston summer heat <laughs> comes around. So it bloomed when unfortunately it was already getting too hot. And yeah, so that's what happens. So the ones that I did not prune, for example, that one where I just harvested the ripe one from, um, it, it already had a chance to produce its fruit before the heat came around so that's a serious lesson learned even though the prune peppers made a lot of branches produce a lot a lot of flowers and i was expecting to have a lot of peppers unfortunately um the weather was not very kind it was not very kind so i'm hoping that i have learned a lesson maybe i have rescued it i don't know they're pretty dry and they, they're just dropping it's just dropping. I touch it and it drops. Oh, so sad. So, so sad. Yeah, 
just wanted to share that with you let me know if you've experienced anything like this before again i've moved the peppers to the shade over here semi shade and i'm hoping that it it, it helps so that's all I wanted to share with you. My promise here is to share all the joys and all the failures, and I put that in quotes, all the lessons learned in the garden with you. I hope you consider subscribing to the channel. I do put out weekly videos on wellness and gardening on this channel. Thank you so much for your support. If this was useful, please give the video a thumbs up, comment, like, share, and all of that good stuff. Until next time, grow a garden because when you grow a garden, you grow health. Bye.